Now we start to do the deployment work. Let's use the default way the web pages to connect to our instance. When we log into the system, we can see our default user is Ubuntu. We need to upgrade our advanced uh, packet tool first uh, for deploying Docker. Okay, when it's finished, we use uh, the new APT tools to deploy Docker. We type in this uh, script. And now we see the Docker is in the processing. Okay, type in doc version to check that Docker has been successfully deployed. Okay, let's run two uh, commands to let doc open and make it run automatically when the system starts up. Okay, type docker ps to check if we have the rights to operate docker and then we see we don't have the permission right now so we need to type in uh, three scrap to allow us to uh, operate docker. Okay, we create a new group to operate docker and add uh, uh, the user Ubuntu to this group. Uh, now let's see, uh, we run the doc ps again to check if we have the right. Okay, we got the right. Uh, let's copy and uh, paste a line of code so that Docker can access the KRS download point and download the latest version. It will show you an agreement of using this software. You can use uh, your keyboard end button to skip and run it to the end. Type Y to accept all this and uh, it will start to download the contents from the download point automatically. You can change the installation path but uh, let's use the default one. You can change the web portal and the, the link portal and uh, here you need to type in the public IP address. You can uh, copy it from the access page or you can go back into the uh, EC2 instance and find it from the EC2 instance information, the public IP4 address. And then you paste here. If you don't need to run on the IHX, you can uh, type Y to end this installation process. But if you want to use on the IHX, you need to install a third part component, AVAHI. Uh, here uh, it gives you uh, two examples for uh, Ubuntu and CentOS. So here we uh, type in the Ubuntu. Okay, all right, we finished all the installation process and let's see if we can open the uh, Clearlink server uh, web page. Uh, seems the web page can't open. Uh, let's go back to the security group to check and uh, we uh, really uh, open the port 80, but sometimes it will happen. So let's add additional uh, port 83. Uh, in the secret group. Go back to the session and uh, run the deployment script again and you need to change the web portals from 80 to 83 and then you can see uh, it was stored successfully and we can open the web page right now.